Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Mod Monday. Today we have Italian vehicles, Polish shops, and Czechoslovakian embassy. <laughs> again disclaimer um the, finally we're back on track with the mods and uh check out all the mods some of them were more than seven days ago but uh, since i had to cut in the last two weeks in two so i believe we got best of both worlds and worlds in last two episodes of uh, mod monday we chose the best mods at least what i consider uh, caught something that caught my eye but please go and check out our community we have amazing community a lot of models that make a lot of beautiful mods so let's get cracking first things first uh czechoslovakian embassy berlin police plus secret police by equinox nova equinox nova is a rising star within mod community he's making beautiful yugoslavian mods and this one is definitely an eye candy uh this is uh czechoslovakian embassy in berlin uh, I'm gonna read a couple of lines of text, but I won't do too much because uh, Equinox Nova has a tendency to uh, educate us on everything, and which I actually like and I read, but it would take a long time to go through all of the details. Now, this is Czechoslovakian Embassy. Building is implemented as a police station and a secret police station. Both versions have room for nine vehicles. Uh, the police station employs 20 staff, 35 officers. The secret police employs 40 agents. The building of Czech Embassy in Berlin was built in 1978 as the Czechoslovakian Embassy in East Germany and, uh, and was one of the few new embassies built in East Berlin. It was built as a part of architectural project by project uh, Vladimir and Vera Mahonin. Mahonin. Uh, yeah, we're gonna stop there. Anyway, so what can we say about these buildings? Um, beautiful, of course. Uh, where are cars parked? I believe in underneath here. Let's check it. Let's go and get a couple of police cars. Let's see where they are parked. Ah, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna assume that the other ones are as well over here. We can go for doesn't really matter we can go and check it out yeah yeah they're more or less in the same place this is really nice i'm gonna be using the hell out of this probably i won't have both of them you know secret police and uh, normal police uh, same like this but as you can see this is a secret police and this one is police station uh price wise let's see the price wise if we go to our government buildings police stations Police station 41,000 compared to 36 in vanilla one. Definitely more expensive. You can see that it's a much more massive building and quite realistic. Classic Aquinox Nova. Thank you for everything. Move on. Arctic Hotel Azimut Hotel Murmansk by Billman 007. Greetings. I present to you the Arctic Hotel. It is the 18 story building hotel and business center located in the center of Murmansk. The city uh, is the city's calling card and the tallest building beyond the polar circle originally the building housed the arctica hotel but after the reconstruction 2014 business center and azimuth hotel mormons are located in the building the building was built uh, from 1972 to 1984 uh, on the side of old hotel building of the same name, the project uh, of the building was designed as Lenzip Architect Yara Yara Yara. Right, uh, this is one of my favorite uh, Soviet cities, Murmansk. Uh, this is why this is in, in this episode and it's of course I'm kind of leaning towards tourism more and more in my let's plays. So this is definitely one of the reasons why I'm interested in hotels more so. Uh, there are two of them. I have... Ah, right, right, right. There's a place name and no place name. Ah, right. You can see here on the top of the building, Artica. And there's no Artica here. So no name place. Uh, we can probably write... Uh, rename did you... No, no, no. We need a transparent. Ricky. There we go. Something like that. Here we go. Perfect. And here, can we do anything here? No, we can't. This is the original Hotel Artica. I would probably use this one. I will see. We'll see what I'm going to be using. But anyway, beautiful hotel. Let's see the price tag on this bad boy. So if we go to our hotel section and we have Artica here, 169,000. It's It can't even be compared. It's uncomparable. It's so expensive. It's really expensive. So that means it's quite realistic. The only problem I see with this hotel... Yeah, it has 1,000 people capacity. It m might be realistic, actually. It might be quite realistic, but uh, it's surprisingly high. 
So it says here 1,125 people uh, attended. So it's it's pretty high. I have to say that I'm, I'm sticking to that. Uh, I'm not sure if it's realistic or not, but uh, I will definitely be using this one. What's your opinion? Comment section. Hit it. Pracovni voz. Would that be pr proper pronunciation by Tigrovica? Uh, English translation: Pracovni voz is a tram mod inspired by a service tram vehicles from Pilsen. Uh, but this little fella isn't just regular tam tram, it has multiple uses, four of them to be more specific, uh, uh, uses of Pracovni Voz, uh, tram, carry, carry cargo, cargo, sadly cannot be used in the distribution offices, railway distribution office doesn't accept anything that can both move and carry resources at the same time, track builder, railroad construction, light locomotive can be used as a light locomotive for railroad distribution office but doesn't carry any cargo on its own, Railway car made uh, for distribution office as well cannot move on its own, but it, it can be painted um, with uh, with wither the tram locomotive. Right. So uh, we have uh, several different skins for these. I want to demonstrate what they are. So we have. Uh, you're not gonna find them under trams. I mean, you will one of them. It's Woods over here. Uh, 1963 to present day uh, can be bought. They have two different skins, and this is what. Uh, um, uh, it has different uh, painting like they're painted as locomotive tram and locomotive version right so you have two different skins if you want to use either of them so this is the tram version Let, let's go uh, let's go with show all if you go all the way in the back we're gonna see all four versions these are the latest ones i installed so they should be here in the back so we have the first one this is a track bu builder level 30 uh cost 21,000 rubles and then we have here this one would be uh, just as a locomotive you can see a locomotive and then we have this one is locomotive that can carry crap and then we have uh, That would be diesel locomotive. I believe that can carry crap Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is a diesel locomotive. So it's interesting. It's really really good uh, This is my favorite trams by the way. I think they are they are the same versions of the trams that we had in the Balkans um, uh, a lot of them in the city where I went to college as well these uh, Czech or Czechoslovakian trams anyway how does it compare to the vanilla ones so we have Pracovni Vuz here uh, uh, railroad construction uh, let's see track builder uh, similar level level 30 uh, it's quite cheaper this is level 35 but this is quite expensive uh, piece of machinery um, it is decently priced. I think it's, it's it's fair. It's fair. Let's go with it's fair. Right. If you want more details, link in the description of the video. Mr. Rob's 074 and swimming pool. Swimming pool based on a real building in Kielce, Poland, employs 18 workers and serves about 90 people. It also works as a tourist attraction with a score three and a half stars. There's a descri description in Polish as well. Mr. Rob's. How can we get rid of Mr. Robs? He's putting mods left and right, and they're quite high quality mods. Uh, I'm, I'm full of Mr. Robs' mods. But anyway, uh, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, what, what is it? It's a pool. It's a pool. Well, can we compare it to something? Yes, exactly, we can. Because we actually have a pool version here 15.6 thousand rubles. And Mr. Rob says it's 22. More expensive. What about capacities? 18 slash 90. This one has 18 slash 90. It's more or less the same and it's more expensive. Classic Mr. Rob's. Uh, the buildings are quite realistic and the capacities are quite realistic and price wise as well. Link in the description for more details. We have milled. And prison. No, no, it's a chicken hut. I know, I know, it looks like a prison. <laughs> it's a chicken hut. We have uh, chicken huts come in three versions for eggs, that's food, meat and combined. Required crops to feed the chickens, uh, also up to 25 workers and look after the chickens, uh, producing up to one ton of meat or two and a half tons of food. Has two vehicle slots for the import and export of goods, two factory connections to connect to warehouses, also four pedestrian connections for your workers. That's the description. Okay, so what do I think about these? You can see here, this is the egg ones, only food. This is the meat ones, only meat. And we have mixture. Mixture is actually half half. They all consume three tons of crops to produce food. This is quite decent, actually. You would have to have uh, in bakeries. Uh, this is quite decent. I like this. This is productive. 
but I also think chickens are productive. So for three tons uh, of crops, usually you would get one and a half ton of food in the bakery. Here you get two and a half ton of food, but there's a lot of workers that you need to you know, in order to maintain this. So it's it's definitely tricky, but it's also definitely something that you're going to be seeing in money let's plays. Can we compare this to something? I don't know. Uh, I don't know where to even find this. This would be under food factory, I believe. Let's go and check it out. So we have a food factory here and we have two chicken huts here. Yeah. 6,000, 8,086, 8,080. Yeah, 8,086 is the price of those. Can we compare this to anything? I don't think so. Not vanilla, at least. Uh, so it's quite unique. I, I don't think it would require a lot of materials. It wouldn't be too expensive to build something like that. And chickens are usually quite productive, affordable, and a cheap source of protein. So I think it's really, really good mod. I will be using it in my let's plays. While we are on the note of butchering languages, let's go with Italian one. Anze and Fiat Cinquecento. Okay, I, I'm not sure if this is how it's pronounced, but anyway, this is a Fiat 500. This is also iconic vehicle uh, in Central and Eastern Europe. I believe version of this was produced in Yugoslavia as well, and uh, definitely something you're gonna see in my let's plays. Now, Andre has uh, three different um, versions of this vehicle. Uh, so we're gonna say personal cars, uh, police car, and municipal police. Really. Is that secret police or something? Because it is, I believe. I thought it was a. Ah, it is. It is. Okay, let's let's um, let's demonstrate. So we have uh, six colors. These are the vehicles in six colors. You can see, except those two that I'm marking now. This is police one, and this is this might be a secret police, right? Um, no police car and police car. Maybe it's a different version of police car. Anyway. Um, it can be bought. Uh, it can be purchased using. Uh, it can be purchased using dollars only because it's Italian car. We have here. Hmm, is that secret police? Might be a secret police. I might be wrong here. But anyway, uh, Fiat uh, Cinquecento SM. I eh, probably have to buy them in secret police. Let's see here. We have. Uh, secret police if you use dollars if you go all the way back no secret police uses the normal cars right 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 and then police would be using uh, let's see all the way in the back we're gonna go with dollars yeah the, these are both police vehicles just a different versions of them so you have two different police vehicles and you have six colors of the normal Fiat Cinquecento uh, really beautiful mod what about the price wise price wise is we're gonna go and compare the personal vehicles 1000 rubles compared to uh, Beetle. It's a little bit cheaper, but hey, it's Italian crap. We'll love it. Right, link in the description for more details. I give you Lancaster uninhabited by Bunch, map based on the area of Lancaster uninhabited. Write in the comment if you want inhabited version. Right, map. Ha! Um, it's a really interesting map. It has a big river in the middle. Actually, the hills are the ones that got me uh, interested in this. I was thinking about tourism and how uh, we can develop uh, mountain hotels here, but this looks like it's a little bit on a steep side, uh, these mountains. But anyway, this is a really beautiful map. I ran onto uh, this mod Monday, and let's check out how it actually looks. It has a big river in the middle. I'm not really sure if it's navigable all the way. Let's check it out. No, this definitely it doesn't look like it's navigable here but i don't want to guarantee this i don't know if the width of the river is responsible for navigation or the depth uh, because this looks deep enough for most area most part but it's definitely narrow so anyway um uh, you can probably dig the dig through this and make it more navigable it's only part of the map that is a little bit narrow the rest of it is quite big river um you can also use it to transport to export to soviet countries uh we have a border crossing sorry to nato countries we have a border crossing there soviet countries also have a potential uh harbor area that you can export to but um yeah that's up to you right resources uh standard they're quite high in quality, but they're like they're, they're spread out. Uh, the, that would be cold. Uh, iron, it's a little bit less. 
it's a, a little bit less sources of iron but again they're up to 100% quality oil a lot of oil under the water and on these yeah, you can see here the areas yeah under the water and on these deltas or the oosties and then we have a uranium ore again for different sources and bauxite for different sources so resource wise you're not going to be having any problems getting those resources it's going to be high quality mines also you have a lot of gra gravel or quarries quarry locations uh, so you definitely would be on the easy side to play this map but I love the location of this central river or central bay where you can actually utilize your shipping as well. Um, what else do we have here? We have uh, six. Uh, we have six and eight. Eight uh, border crossings with Soviet republics and six with NATO countries. So you can choose. Um, you have quite a decent amount of connections, and I think all of them have power connections. Yeah, all of them have a power connections as you can see here on the map. So yeah, it's definitely easy map, but definitely beautiful, beautiful map. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to say I hope you guys enjoy this Mod Monday. If you did, you press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it. Comment section, hit it. And if you want to support the channel, you have the description of the video. Happy Monday, guys. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.